Hey everybody, welcome to the 7th edition of Deck Profile Fridays. In this video I'll be going over the very first competitive Pokemon TCG deck that was named after a very famous, I believe it's a boxing term, uh, where it, uh, you know, you deliver a very hard, forceful blow against an opponent and you you know you do a lot of a lot of damage really quickly right and that term is called haymaker which is what this deck is um this deck is from the the first two sets base set and the jungle set and it features three big basic pokemon right they have high hp you know and good good attacks decent attacks and um you know they're a basic pokemon they're not not an evolution pokemon so without further ado here we go we have four electabuzz we have four hitmonchan and then four scyther so these three here make up the very first competitive Pokemon TCG deck. Uh, Electabuzz, Hitmonchan, and Scyther all have 70 HP. Um, Scyther has a uh, free retreat cost. Electabuzz has a two retreat cost. And Hitmonchan also has a two retreat cost. But you're not really going to be, you know, retreating with them, right? You can use, like other you know things to uh to, to switch them if you need to right um you're mainly just going to be attacking with them electabots has a pretty awesome attack and thunder punch that's the attack that you want to be using most of the time uh it does 30 damage for two energy a lightning and a colorless um and then you flip a coin if heads you know you deal an extra 10 and if tails you do 10 damage to yourself um unfortunate but you know it can pay off and its first attack thundershock does 10 damage for one energy and you flip a coin of heads uh the opponent's pokemon is now paralyzed pretty cool hitmonchan is one of my favorite uh pokemon of all time um jab there for one fighting energy it does a solid 20 damage and then special punch for two fighting and a colorless does 40, which is pretty good. It can knock out opposing Electabuzz. Um, and um, also things like like uh, Clefable and Wigglytuff as well, right? And, and, and Chansey's as well. Scyther there. Um, Scyther there is, is good mainly because it's a it's a, it's a decent attacker with slash because it can be powered with double colorless energy, but it's also a way uh to free uh to, to retreat freely, right? So after a KO, a, a knockout, you just send him up, right? And you can either keep him there and attack or retreat easily into either Electabuzz or Hitmonchan. Uh Swords Dance. I do play a single grass energy, and that grass energy is actually pretty, pretty huge, right? Um, if I'm able to start off with a Scyther, you know, first turn of the game, I, I, and if I can get that grass energy, you know, by drawing it or things like computer search, I can get that turn to 60 damage with Slash. And then if I have a plus power, which I play, I'm able to one hit uh, KO, you know, other big basic Pokemon as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, resistance to fighting as well, you know, so it's great against opposing Hitmonchans. Um, one other thing that I'd like to note is that, uh, you know, if they have, uh, if your opponent is playing like any sort of water, like like base Blastoise, um, it's that's not it wasn't really too popular uh back then like um and i don't i didn't think it got popular until maybe fossil and articuno and uh, lapras came out but 
Um, it's still like Electabuzz is a great counter versus versus any uh, lightning weak Pokemon like uh, that are pretty much that are water or um, like Pidgeot and Pidgeotto, which I don't think really are played at all. But but still, that does it for the Pokemon. <laughs> now on to the trainers. So the trainers are really simple, right? Um, there's a lot of four ofs in this deck, uh, and we have four bill, four computer search, four energy removal, four gust of wind, four plus power. And for Professor Oak, these are the four ofs. So Bill, really simple. It's a pot of greed, right? If you're familiar with the Yu-Gi-Oh, draw two cards. Computer search, you know, you discard two cards and then you search your deck for any card, right? So a lot of the time I'll be going into another Professor Oak or searching for like that key plus power uh, to get a knockout. Uh, energy removal is there to put your opponent behind the energy attachments. So if they're trying to power up anything that's big, right, like a, like a like a Blastoise or you know a Charizard or a, a Chansey or whatever, right, this sets them back. A gust of wind allows you to pretty much uh, KO what you want to KO, which is what you want to do. Plus power to add damage, and then Professor Oak just to refresh your hand by drawing a new seven cards. That's it for the four ofs. So the three ofs, right, we play a few. Um, and in that we have three item finder and three super energy removal. And then we also play a pair of scoop up. So item finder is really useful. It allows you to search your discard for any trainer card at the top of, uh, at the cost, pardon me, of two cards. Um, so another great target for, for plus powers and uh, Professor Oaks that have been used. Uh, super energy removal is uh, like a better energy removal. You can discard an energy from one of your Pokemon to discard two from your opponents. So definitely well worth it. I prefer personally energy removal because it's a little bit faster. Um, but... It's still a pretty good card, and I'd, you know, I'd, I'd play both. Scoop Up. You know, Scoop Up is for the the Pokemon that have a, uh, you know, high retreat cost. You know, pardon me, mid to high retreat cost, like Electabuzz and Hitmonchan. Um, and it's also uh, good at denying your opponent knockouts. You know, if they are able to place, like, let's say, 50 or 60 damage on one of your big basics you just scoop it up and return it to your hand and therefore they don't get that ko so pretty awesome and that's it for the trainers lastly the energy i play six fighting five lightning four double colorless and a single grass. So the grass is there for the swords dance, which which is awesome. The double colorless is to power up Scyther's Slash. And as well as that, you can use that as a uh, energy to retreat with for um, Hitmonchan and Electabuzz. Because it, it's two energies, so it covers the cost. And then the lightning energy and the fighting energy... Or there for Hitmonchan uh, and Electabuzz, respectively. So, yeah, there you go. Um, this is, like I said, one of the oldest decks. It's one of my uh, favorite decks in, the, in that format. Um, after the the Fossil set re was released, you know, Magmar uh, jumped into uh, the mix. And then... Uh, as well as uh, movie promo Mewtwo, which I think came out before Fossil, but after Jungle. Please correct me if I'm wrong. 
Um, the movie promo Mewtwo is absolutely amazing. You know, it's better than than the three of them in this deck. And it's just an amazing attacker. So, because it allows you to actually get that that turn to uh, forty damage with Cyber, and so, and that would be the swap. Um, yeah. Uh, please let me know what you guys think, and uh, if you have any, um, you know, suggestions or whatever, right? Leave a comment. Awesome. Well, I will see you on uh, Monday for the next opening, and then the following Friday for the next edition of Deck Profile Fridays. Take care, everybody.